Hello and Happy New Year. I'm going to be continuing my review of a few highlights of 2023 as we celebrate the kickoff of 2024. And in this second vlog, we are going to be talking about none other than the 150 year celebration of Sergei Rachmaninoff. And actually that celebration is continuing throughout 2024. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna share how you can participate. By the way, if you missed my first vlog, feel free to check it out. It's where I talk about my experience at the 2023 Detroit Jazz Festival, and that was a great time. So feel free to check that out. I'm Crystal Thomas, a classical concert pianist. And on this channel, I talk about classical music, music in general. I also share practice strategies and performances. So if you like that type of content, feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you know the next time I upload another video. Sergei Rachmaninoff was born on April 1st, 1873, and he was a prolific composer, pianist, and conductor. And so we celebrate 150 years of his important contributions to classical music. In case you are unsure of who Rachmaninoff is, you may be familiar with one of the most beautiful melodies that he's written, which is the vocalese. Because Rachmaninoff was a virtuoso pianist, many of his compositions were written for solo piano as well as for piano and orchestra. So some of the most famous pieces are his Piano Concerto No. 2, the Piano Concerto No. 3, the Rhapsody on a Theme of Paganini, as well as the infamous Prelude in C-sharp minor, Opus 3, No. 2. As part of my personal celebration of Rachmaninoff, I saw that the Detroit Symphony Orchestra was performing his Piano Concerto No. 1, so I thought that I would go ahead and check that out. We're at the DSO, Detroit Symphony Orchestra, and we're celebrating Rachmaninoff's 150th year, and we're so excited to be here. We're going to be listening to a lot of great pieces. Uh, Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 1, which is one of my absolute favorites. As you can see in the program, the DSO is celebrating Rachmaninoff at 150, along with the rest of the world. And they kicked off the celebration with the October 15th program conducted by Yadir Binyamini. The program started with Weber's overture to Der Freischutz, and then the excitement and anticipation started to build as they began to roll out the piano for Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 1 in F sharp minor, Opus 1, which was being performed by Simon Trepczewski. In the program notes, they mentioned that the work we know as Rachmaninoff's first concerto was actually his second attempt at writing a piano concerto. In 1890, while a student at the Moscow Conservatory, the 17-year-old Rachmaninoff began working on the F-sharp minor concerto. And in June of 1892, Rachmaninoff graduated from the Moscow Conservatory. And then a month later, he completed the concerto, which would be published as his opus number one. Interestingly, Rachmaninoff started to view his concerto as more of a, a student work. And so over time, after about 25 years, Rachmaninoff revisited the concerto to offer a more revised, newer version. So revisions were completed by the time he left Russia in 1917, and the premiere of the new version was given in New York in January of 1919 with Rachmaninoff as the soloist, accompanied by the Russian Symphony Society Orchestra. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, as you can see, the concerto begins with such intensity. And so I encourage you to listen to the entire full concerto. It's absolutely wonderful. It consists of three movements. So after you listen to the concerto, let me know in the comments section how you feel about it. After that, we had intermission where we were able to stretch our legs. And then we proceeded to the second half of the program, which was Brahms's Symphony Number no. 1. I had a fantastic time. The DSO and Trepczewski did a fantastic job performing those pieces as well as Benjamini as conductor. And I thoroughly enjoyed the entire program. But I wanted to share with you that there is still time, of course, to celebrate Rachmaninoff at 150. For instance, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra is continuing their celebration on April 5th through 7th with Rachmaninoff's last work for orchestra, the Symphonic Dances Opus 45. You can even attend the concert virtually on Saturday, April 6th with Live from Orchestra Hall. Thanks for watching this vlog. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next 2023 highlights video. Happy New Year.